Hi there everyone, welcome back to another day. We start off this morning by putting some wheat into the ground. These are the fields that we harvested yesterday. Um, moving on quickly as well, we're going to harvest this small field of grass, turn it into some hay. Need this stuff for feeding up the sheep, feeding uh, the few cows I've got, and just a bit of a reserve for making TMR in the future as well. Should get a few bales out of this, five or six maybe. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Quick sprinkle of fertilizer as well, because this stuff grows again overnight. So I can't afford to let it sit, it'll be at its first stage of harvest by tomorrow. I'm going to dump this lime off the trailer, swap her back across again as well and do a green trailer. Oh, actually, no, no, I forgot, I need to go lift these hay bales first. Actually, I'll do that, clear this field to get that done. This is one of the reasons why I do love this little trailer so much, because it stacks so neatly. And we're at the end of June now. Actually, I skipped forward quite a bit, because this field took quite a while to do. Finished up planting the hay and that, or not the hay the um, wheat. So we'll finish that one up and then off to bed for a night. We didn't really have many jobs to do today. So we'll get an early night and up early in the morning to start the harvest. We are in the oat field, out in the class combine, uh, getting oats, getting straw. So I'll probably turn this oats into flour, I imagine. But whilst that harvester's working, go around and do some animal work, then a little bit of feed for the chickens and some in for the pigs as well. The Firewood seems to be going quite well, just you need to remember to keep it topped up. And now today I managed to put my green trailer back together again, so I can go and unload the combine. It seems to be yielding quite well this, it's uh, going to get a couple of trailer loads out of this field. Tipping that into the production and that'll go for some barley, or for some barley, for some flour, uh, which I'll eventually turn into bread as well. The second load coming off and getting ready to do some baling. Thinking actually, what I could do is get one of these front rowers, that means I can get the baler on the back and do the whole thing in one pass, so it just save me a little bit of time. It cost me a few pounds right enough, I'm down to £5,000 left now, so I'll sell the old wreck, get some money back for that, but this should speed things up a little bit. Here we go, just happens to be pretty much the perfect width for getting two into one with this current combine. There we go, that's just this field now, getting close to the end, the harvesting's done. Just get these last bits done, empty the combine, and she can go straight on into the canola field. No straw with this one obviously, but again the canola, most likely going to be made into canola oil. Now to get these straw bales lifted off this field, again, apologies my teleportation trailer, but it is so quick. Here we go, lovely neat stacks. Couldn't do these by hand if I tried. About halfway through the canola field as well. Again, she's using quite well. Uh, go in, start the canola oil production in that one. Should bring us in quite a few pounds. Now these fields that I have, um, what you call it, just harvested. I'm going to go out to top up the pH on them as well. Mainly because obviously the first times I did this it was absolutely burning through lime. You know this fertilizer spreader was lasting about three seconds before it emptied. So as so long as I keep on top of it each time it's really not too bad. Um, a couple of refills does these fields. It's, it's pretty manageable with a small capacity. Second load going into the production now for canola oil. 2,000 litres each time, happy days. And finish off the liming on this field. I needed a little bit more, so I went down and bought a trailer load. Just bought loose lime, or I'll put it into the trailers this time and dump it into the silo this time. Should be fairly easy to keep on top of now. <coughs> and I remembered I hadn't actually done any water work with the animals for a couple of days, so going around now just topping that up as they're all looking a bit thirsty. While I'm here, I'll pick up the wool and the eggs as well, get them dumped into my little warehouse building, don't think I need them anywhere at the minute. And I came up with a sneaky idea, these fields that I harvested, there's no point in putting a lot of crop into them just yet, so I figured I'll sow some grass. I've got enough time left in the year that I can definitely get a harvest of grass out of these. Um, 
it'll solidify my winter store really for cows in the future, give me enough stuff to make TMR, or just keep everything taking over nicely in the meantime. And get a sprinkle of fertilizer across that as well. The grass really doesn't take long to grow at all, maybe you're doing one day a month, so it's important to keep on top of it and never you put it in. Halfway through the second phase now as well, should be producing a lot of grass out of these two. Ooh, and there's my end thing up already. So that's five minutes of farming up. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you again shortly. Bye now.